Hello, Mario here. This is another Toon Boom tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be creating a 2D rigged character. So let's get started. This character I'm looking at is Maximilian by Stephen Belford. Great character. He's got some great poses in here. And this is actually handy because I even switched the head and used different hands in different locations. So it's nice that he has this character lineup because I could borrow parts, I could borrow different feet, I could borrow different legs. But for now, we're just going to rig up the part that we've already cut into layers. So this character was drawn and colored in harmony. And then I divided it into layers. So there's the front hand the forearm, the upper arm, the head, the hair, chest. Okay, so you can see I've cut the character up already into these layers. What we want to do is prepare these layers before we add the peg. So the first thing we do, so here's the hand, the front hand, is we want to reset this hand. That way, the image doesn't jump around when we create our hierarchy. So I click Animation, Reset. And if you notice, the hotkey is R. So hit Reset, and the image jumps. This is what we don't want to happen. Now we can put it into place, and we can still rig our character. But it's nice to be able to hit R whenever we want and the hand will actually be in the right place. So I like to take the select tool and select it and move it into place. Notice that the line moved but not the color. So we have to do the same with the color layer. So I select the color layer Again with the select tool, I move it into place. There. So now when I hit R, or I go animation reset, it actually stays in the right place. So it's a handy button to have if you ever can't find your one of the one of the parts you want to move, you hit R and it'll return back to its rest position. So now that it's in its rest position, we can now set the pivot point. And this is the pivot tool right here, drawing pivot. First what I do is I make sure that the animation button is off and then I select the transform tool and test the hand. Now if I test this hand it's not going to move correctly. Okay, so let's make it move correctly. Again, the animation button is still off I go to my drawing pivot and I put it somewhere a little bit more reasonable. Then I test it again with the transform tool and see if that works better. Not bad, but I think I'll adjust it a little bit more. Test it again with the, with the transform tool. And that's working a little bit better. Okay, so we reset the layer. We move the layer into place with the selection tool. We set the pivot point with the pivot tool. Now what we want to do is go into our layer properties. So I'm going to right click, layer properties. Hotkey is shift E. And what we want to do is we want to tell the peg, when we add a peg, to use that pivot point. So under transformation, we go down to drawing pivot, and we apply the embedded pivot on the parent peg. That passes on the pivot information onto our new peg when we add it. We haven't added it yet. So apply embedded pivot on parent peg. 
Okay, that's one thing we have to do on, under properties. There's one other thing we want to do under properties. Under controls, we're going to turn off the animation tools. And what that does is that forces our animation keys onto the peg. That way, none of our drawing layers will have animation keys. And that's a goal of ours. So I'm going to turn off animation tools on this drawing layer. So there you go. It did jump on us again. So we should adjust that. So I'm going to hit R. There, see, R is very handy, puts it right back in place. So we reset the layer, move the drawing into place, set the pivot point, told the peg to use that pivot point, and also disabled animation keys on the drawing layer. Now with that layer, I can hit Shift P, and now we have a peg on that hand layer. So let's do the same with the forearm. Go to forearm, hit R. It didn't jump, so we're, we're happy. Okay, so we don't have to move it into place. It is in place. Now we test it. Make sure your animation button is off. We test it, and that pivot point's pretty bad. So I'm going to Control-Z that. So our pivot point is way up there, which is useless to us. So what we're going to do is, with the Pivot tool, select our pivot point. And then test it again with our Transform tool. It's close. Let's try it again. Okay, and don't worry about the artwork. We're going to adjust our artwork to work with these pivots after. This isn't bad. It kind of works. Control Z that. Get it back into its original place. So we're happy with that pivot tool. So we reset it. We made sure it's in place. We set our pivot. Now we do our properties. Right click, layer properties, or shift E. Under transformation, we pass the pivot point onto the parrot peg. And under controls, we disable animation tools. And close that. And now, shift P, or you can just plus parent peg. So now that one has a peg as well. I'm going to do one more. So I go to my upper arm, reset it, animation reset. That's good, didn't move, so I don't have to move it into place. Then I test the pivot point, animation button off, transform tool, rotate. Yep, that's not what we want. Control Z that, and let's set a pivot point with the pivot tool. Test it again. That's not bad. I'd have to fix that shoulder there, but this isn't bad. We can fix the artwork later. So that pivot point works. So we reset it, we moved it into place, we set the pivot. Now we do Layer Properties again. Right-click, Layer Properties. Under Controls, we turn off Animation Tools. Under Transformation, we send the pivot up to the parent peg. And now we can add our parent peg to that layer. There you go. So let's do that for all the layers.